the first thing we're going to do is our price comparison survey. Now, this is where we put on our detective hats and we survey other enrichment activities in our area and see kind of what our, our, our market can bear, right? So we're taking a look at, yes, of course, what are other studios charging if you have others in your area? What is karate lessons cost? What is, uh, if someone wants to go do gymnastics, what does that cost? What if a parent wants to take their child and put them into swimming lessons? What does that cost? Oh, yes. I'm so glad. Yes, yes, yes. She did it this last summer because, you know, I make sure that my clients do it, right? Okay, so price comparison survey. We need to just get an idea. We need to get an idea of where everyone's at. I actually had a client who um, hadn't done this, this activity in over, since pre-pandemic, y'all, okay? And she thought that she was kind of middle of the pack when it came to pricing. <laughs> but what it actually revealed to her is that she hadn't raised her prices in several years and she was now looking like the bargain basement of dance classes, right? And none of us want to be the dollar store of dance, y'all. I mean, I know anyone who's here with me absolutely is not the bargain basement, the dollar store of dance. Anyone who's here with me, you guys are top-notch quality studio owners or instructors, and we cannot price ourselves out of alignment with that, right? So this first step is to really have you lean into what else is going on, right? Because sometimes we are so in it and we're so laser focused on all the things going on, right? That we forget something as simple as raising our tuition, raising our tuition. Now, again, I know what the reality is out there. And I know that a lot of us might feel like, oh my gosh, how could I raise my tuition rates when people are still struggling? And I get that, right? But we cannot um, sacrifice our own businesses, financial health and well-being because others may have money stories. 